Dusty play, and that's perfect to transfer it to me. Love, I've always had that in them anyway. That Elvis quality, I think it's a bit of Elvis to say the least of me. Okay. Now I'm going to stay in the tradition of Jim Bob, country singer up there, and I'm going to tell you the real story about this song. Yeah, Jimmy likes country. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's got every Waylon Jennings record ever made. They're hidden. Anyway, so, uh, now nah, he does like a few country people. He likes me, I'm a country folk. I like Jimmy, he's a cat person. But uh, you see, this song was written actually on a bet, and it was about Elvis. You see, this woman, we're sitting in this little apartment this way back when, 1973, 74, when people didn't have any money, and we all kind of stayed in apartments about the size of that little speaker right there in front of us. And uh, this woman uh, said to Jimmy, Jimmy? I bet you can't write a song as simple as I want you, I need you, I love you by Elvis Presley. And Jimmy looked at her, turned his head like a cat would, and he said, uh, I, he could have knocked me over with a feather when he did too because it took him about 30 seconds to come up with this. Normally it takes him about 30 months. <laughs> and he looked her right in the eye and he said, Mimi, you know what? You're right. But I can write this. I want you. <laughs> I need you. But there ain't no way I'm ever going to love you. <laughs> Don't be sad, cause two out of three ain't bad. I recorded this song in March of 1976. Uh, I was about 12 years old. I'm 65 now. Hang on. As you see, as you can tell, I was better in science than in math. So I'm going to try my damnedest to kind of make it sound like 19. What year did I say? You know, after 35, you lose, you lose 7,000 brain cells a day. Figure out how many brain cells I've lost. So anyway, we're going to try to make this sound as much like 1976 as possible for you people. It ain't going to happen, but we're going to try.